UCD had beaten Cork in their last three visits to Belfield, and this was a fixture new Cork City boss John Caulfield was wary of. But they started well and went ahead on six minutes, Gary Buckley and John Kavanagh combining. Kavanagh's effort parried, but Billy Dennehy was following up. His shot took the merest deflection off Mark O'Sullivan, but O'Sullivan was claiming it, although he seemed suitably bashful as he shook Dennehy's hand. UCD weren't happy, they were claiming handball or offside or both, but referee Podrick Sutton was satisfied and the goal stood. On half hour, Cork had a man sent off following this challenge. Killian Morrison brought to a shuddering halt by Darren Dennehy and a straight red card followed. UCD players incensed and Darren's brother Billy was also booked here following scuffles over his sibling. The ten men of Cork held out fairly comfortably for the best part of an hour, although Killian Morrison's curler had to be tipped round the post by Mark McNulty with time almost up. The corner was cleared as a hint of desperation began to take hold in the Cork defence. Eventually, another fierce drive from Michael Barker was parried away by the alert McNulty and with the majority of Cork fans in the stand urging the ref to blow the final whistle, Robbie Benson had one last chance, but McNulty was equal to it and gratefully held on to the ball. And Cork grabbed the three points as UCD suffered their fourth defeat in a row, 1-0 the final score as Cork remained unbeaten and on top. <laughs>